apes together. Strong. Hey, what's up, guys? More views WTF here, and uh, since I'm having another video rendered, I thought, hey, why don't I give my first impressions on this trailer? This really kick ass trailer I saw for Dawn of Planet of the Apes. Holy shit, this movie's looking better and better as it goes. I mean, the first trailer. The first little teaser trailer for the movie was just some guy running through the woods and he's like, I need to talk to Caesar. And Caesar's just there with his war paint, just like. You know, he's ready to kill him. And I was like, that's epic. Now, this one actually shows the conflict and the problem between that whole moment. I mean, it basically shows that, yeah, humanity and the apes, basically the apes have somewhat taken over the world, and humans in society are just in a post-apocalyptic thing, kind of like um, a zombie situation where, like, zombies taken over, and, and it's basically there's not that many humans left in society, and the apes, there's not that many of them, but there's more of them than us, but they're in their own secluded little world, because they don't really want a war. Well, I'm guessing that some of them do by the looks of the trailer, but most of them, especially Caesar, doesn't want a war. He just wants to live his normal, peaceful life and everything, and he really does. He's evolved as a per as well, not as a person, but he's evolved as a creature. And he's gotten so much smarter. He's even talking more now like he did the end of the first movie. Yeah, spoiler alert, talks at the end of the first movie. Um, but he's not, like, fully talking like I am, just like, hey, he's talking like this, and uh, I'm ape and all that. No, he's talking. Talk. Like... This even does hand gestures sometimes when he talks, like like he was like go where. So so his mind is more fully evolved, but his his body is not, which was really cool to see. Anyway, it seems like humanity realized that they screwed up, but they also were like we need to kill these apes. It may be our fault. We're not going to really say it's our fault. It's mostly their fault for trying to kill us, and uh, we're going to kill them. On the ape side, they're just like, yeah, we're, we just want to live our life and do what we got to do. And, you know, it seems like they are on whatever. The, the apes are hiding and the humans are doing their best to scavenge and survive. And then they come across each other one day. And who's one character truly believes that the apes and the humans can coexist in peace. And he, of course, is going to be the only one that believes this with a small group of other people that are going to be the side characters. And Caesar himself, who's like, maybe there might be a chance to this. Well, of course, there's the dick humans and everything. Of course, led by Gary Oldman, who is going to be awesome in the movie. Um, he's awesome in just almost everything he's in. Um, that I've seen, anyway. Robocop last week, he was awesome. And... I don't know what to expect from this movie, other than it's going to be awesome. I know there's going to be a lot of conflict between the humans and the apes, and they're going to try to make it work, but it's really just going to boil down to that one scene where the armies are coming alongside each other, where the army of apes is at the doorsteps of the army of the humans. And then it's going to be like a stalemate thing, and they're just going to stand off, and one dude's going to be like, got the guns, got the guns. And the apes are just going to be ready with that whole moment. And the second somebody pulls the trigger... They're just all going at each other, and a big old clash is going to be it, and this is going to be the end of humanity, and it will be Planet of the Apes. And I'm hyped for this movie, hyped as hell, because, first of all, they've, they've taken all the right steps in this direction. The apes, most of them, for all I know, only Caesar can talk. And that's a good thing, being that he's the smartest one, being the leader, so he can lead the pack, but... Also, he's the one that, he's like, all eyes of everything. Just like he was in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, you know, where he got smarter. And also, it's smart that humanity is not completely destroyed and enslaved at this point in the movie. And that there is resistance, and that there is this these group of people who are like maybe we can live together. I mean, we realize that the society is not all war based; it's actually somewhat pe mostly peaceful. 
and it also shows the kind of the Caesar's realizing that he was really happy before you know all this bullshit. And um, there's even like one scene where he's looking through his camera and showing James Franco teaching him was like Caesar, Caesar, this is your home, home Caesar, and he's just like. Like, those are the good old days. Like, he's so happy. Like, so it's going to show that there's a lot of conflict between those two. And all I can say is I hope it's really good. It looks like it's going to kick ass. It looks like it's going to build up to this just really dramatic and somewhat sad conclusion. Alright, I guess that's enough of me rambling about this movie for now. Um, I'll see you guys next time for my next First Impressions re uh, TV show or movie review. Anime review, video game review, whatever. See you guys next time.